Let's try to come up with a mathematically rigorous definition for what this statement means, the, the statement that the limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to l. So let's say that this means that you can get, you can get f of x as close as close to l as you want, as you want. I'll put that in quotes right over here because it's kind of a little loosey-goosey is how close is that, but as close as you want by getting getting x sufficiently close sufficiently close close to c. So another way of saying this is if you tell me, "Hey, I want to get my f of x to be within 0.5 of this limit." then you're telling me if this limit is actually true, you should be able to hand me a, a value around c that if x is in within that range, that f of x is definitely going to be as close to l as I desire. So let me draw that out to make it a little bit clearer. And I'm going to zoom in. I'll draw another diagram. So let's say that, let's say that is my, draw it. this right over here is my y-axis, and I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to draw a slightly different function just so we can really focus on what's going on around here. The range is around C and the range is around L. So that's x. This right over here is y. Let's say that this is this is C. And let's say let's just zoom in on our function. So let's say our function looks is doing something like let's say it does something like let's see I don't want it to be defined at C at least just for the Uh, it could be. You can always find a limit even where it is defined. But let's say our function looks something like that. And it can even have a little kink in it the way I drew it. So it looks something like this. It's undefined. See, let me draw it a little bit different. Let me draw it a little bit different. So it is undefined when x is equal to c. So this is the point where there is a hole. It is undefined when x is equal to c. So it even has a little kink in it, just like that. And We we want to do is prove that the limit as x the limit of f of x and let me make, make it clear this is the graph of y is equal to f of x. We want to get an idea for what this definition is saying if we're claiming that the limit of f of x as x approaches c is l. So conceptually we get the gist already. We already get the gist that this right over here is l. But what is this definition saying? What's well, saying that you can get as you can get f of x as close to l as you want, as you want. So if you tell someone I want to get within a certain, I want to get f of x within a certain range of l, then if this limit is actually true, if the limit of f of x, if the limit of f of x as x approaches c really is equal to l. then they should be able to find a range around c that if as long as x is around that range your f of x is going to be in the range that you want. So let me actually go through that exercise. It really is a little bit like a game. So someone comes up to you and says, "Well, okay, I don't necessarily believe that that you're claiming that the limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to l. I'm not really sure if that's the case. But I agree with this definition. So I'm going to I want to get within I want to get within 0.5. I want to get f of x within 0.5 of l. So this right over here, this right over here would be l plus 0.5 and this right over here is l l minus 0.5. And then you say fine. I'm going to give you a range around c that if you take any x within that range, your f of x is always going to fall in this range that you care about. And so you look at this, and obviously we haven't explicitly defined this function, but you can even eyeball it the way this function is defined. It won't be that easy for all functions, but you look at it like this and you say that this value, just the way it's drawn right over here, let's say that this is c minus 0.25. And let's say that this value right over here is c plus 0.25. C plus 0.25. And so you tell them, look, as long as you get x within 0.25 of C, so as long as your x's are sitting someplace over here, the corresponding f of x, the corresponding f of x is going to sit in the range that you care about. And you say, okay, that fine, you won that round. 
let me make it even tighter. Maybe with instead of saying within 0.5, I want to get within 0, 0, 0.05. And then you'd have to do this exercise again and find another range. And in order for this to be true, in order for this to be true, you have to be able to do this for any range, for any range that they give you, for any range around L that they give you, you have to be able to get f of x within that range by finding a range around C that as long as x is that range around C, f of x is going to sit within that range. So I'll let you think about that a little bit. There's a lot to think about, but hopefully this made sense. We did it for the particular example of someone hands you the 0.5, I want f of x within 0.5 of L, and you say, well, as long as x is within 0.25 of C, you're going to match it. You need to be able to do that for any range they give you around L. And then this limit will definitely be true. So in the next video, we will now generalize that. And that will really bring us to the famous epsilon delta definition of limits.